Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at 40 dig. Uh, 40 dig or tenor share approached me. Uh, they provided me with a license so I could test the software. And besides that, every test, opinion, and everything else is mine. I will leave a link on the description to them. So let's go on. And first, let me just check what the claims are. Repair unplayable, corrupted, choppy, jerky, grainy, distorted, or fuzzy videos, etc. AI enhanced video quality up to 8K resolution. Restore and colorize black and white videos with AI technology. Work with a wide range of storage media, including SD cards, USB flash drives, and uh, HDDs. And efficiently perform batch repairs, I like that, across multiple platforms such mp4 avi 3g2 3gb and all that good stuff and we have some samples here of a video from that glitchy jerky choppy to clean i know this is a uh, copyright free footage that's here because i know where this video is and this is another one this is another pixels this grainy and it goes from grainy to clean let me just put it right here. So it goes from grainy here, from grainy here to clean here. I mean, if it does that, that's perfect. And colorize. Now the colorize part is what I'm really, really, come on. I meant to pause it, but somehow it doesn't want to. Okay. And it says it will colorize like this. That is a big deal. If we're talking about colorizing something that was from the past, because this one, as I see here, the cars are modern. So this was decolorized, then recolorized. What I'm going to test here, I'm going to put a real no color video and see what it does with the colorization. And I'm talking about from early 1900s video I'll check from the library and we'll do that instead of decolorizing and recolorizing. And for the other videos, I will try to find footage that, yes, I have on drives that is actually broken. And we'll see and repair that. So let's uh, download it. It says try it for free. We're going to get it because we have a license already. We're going to open it. Yes. Minimize. I've read and agreed. Yep. Okay. And it is installed. So first, let me plug in the license. This is the free version, of course, but I'm going to go with the license really quick and I will be right back. Okay, lifetime, one computer, and all that good stuff. And now we are going to go to town with photo repair, file repair, audio repair, and I'm going to go and see everything it has to offer. Video enhancer, photo enhancer, video colorizer, and photo colorizer. That is, uh, these are bold claims. I gotta say and uh, we'll be back with some videos and photos really quick okay so we're gonna test first with a glitchy and broken video which uh, was filmed by me and somehow it got corrupted as you see let me lower the audio because we don't need that and as you see this is how it uh, looks there's a lot of breaks a lot of stuff going on with it and uh, let's plug it here and see what this uh, software can do for us if it can actually repair a glitchy broken video and the next will be grainy old video than a really old black and white video so let's go with this one here and we're just gonna click repair as they suggest oh that was repaired okay that's uh that's definitely something desktop and i'm just gonna create a really quick folder and i'm just gonna name it repaired click ok and it says done i guess and it puts both files repaired one and two let's see okay this part remain with the video the number one okay and let's go to the two uh there is kind of an improvement but not by a huge margin i wonder if i Put this video in there again okay i'm gonna remove these all and plug it again the repaired and see what it can do okay because the only options here we have is repair so it looks like it repaired it and we're gonna go back to that uh, thing again where is the repaired okay it's right here open folder the second ones are yep this one here so that part uh not much the second one kind of better not really by that much so in this style of video it, it is hard it's a tall order and uh, i have a, 
a, a even worse uh, case scenario here that I'm going to put it through, which is this video right here. That is almost impossible. I tested it with other software and uh, pretty much they do kind of the same. Let me drop it right here. Okay. But now let me play it first. As you see, it doesn't even attempt to play audio or video. Nothing. It just stays right there and you cannot zoom through or nothing. Let's see if it... Oh, we dropped it already. I'm going to do repair and see where that goes goes okay the repair has been done it says put it on repaired let me just delete these other ones that have been repaired and here we have number one that's i think number one i'm assuming is the original and number two is oh it's actually playing it has some noise audio on the background I'm not going to play it here because it's music but that's uh interesting actually it did the repair on this one but not the video but i hear the audio even though i'm not gonna play it here because copyright stuff but that is interesting and it's changing some frames kind of going somewhere as you saw there well that's i i cannot say this is bad because at least it did something okay this one i, I okay this one i have a shorter version of it so on the repair, it depends on the video. If your video is far gone, it may be able to kind of bring some audio. And yes, it did good with the audio part of it. I could hear the song, but the video, unfortunately, is just too far. So let's go with a grainy old video and uh, let's see what repairs it can do on it. Let me play the video itself. It's like this, you know, that... Uh, 80s perfect camera okay and i'm gonna hit repair and it looks like it did something let me put it on repaired click save and open folder and the second one should be our video uh i don't know let me click the first one these are the same maybe we're doing something here let me remove these go back to home ai enhancer the video colorizer blurry videos okay so that might be the grainy one that we need to uh get done let me drop the grainy here and see what ai can do to get rid of the grain i'm not going to increase the resolution because we don't need it i'm gonna leave it on general model because that's a general video and we're gonna put quality first and we're gonna hit enhance and wait for it to enhance and see what the ai actually does with that grainy blurry video and we'll be back when it's done i would say before it's even done this is kind of a preview but uh if you look at the bins for example on the first which is before and after looks like it's doing something let me pause it real quick uh okay looks like the bins on the second one look a little bit cleaner and the jacket looks a little bit cleaner too as you see right here versus right here and the jacket in the front the uh gray one looks a little bit cleaner on the second one that is i would say quite an improvement for where it took it from and if you look at this area on the back of the bicycle looks a bit cleaner on the second one but we will have to wait until it's fully done and uh, see if it actually did it how we are thinking it did okay at this point uh the video has finished but not quite yet we have to click save and sometimes it uh, takes a minute or two to actually save. We're going to put it on repaired and hit that. And we have to wait till it uh, finishes saving. Okay, so it took over five hours and a half to actually do this video right here to what they call enhance. And uh, <laughs> I'm just going to play it. And I only went with quality first, of course. I went with X2, not X3 or 4. And the video is just a short one but it is what it is and uh this is what we came up with after uh it looks better i gotta say there's shiny cars kind of a shiny sign right there and that's a video 13 seconds now that uh time span i don't know if it's due to my computer or how the software works it that i do not know but yeah it actually took quite a while so we're gonna do this one right here it's 12 uh seconds video tiny as you see right here this is the video itself and we're gonna colorize it so that is what we're gonna go next now let's see how long it takes but yeah i told you the first one took over five hours on this machine that i do these tests i have a uh 1066 ti with six gigs 
of VRAM and 32 gigs of regular RAM, uh, i9 processor. I mean, it's it's not a, a slow machine by any means, but AI is AI, I guess, and uh, we'll do what we can. So let me just uh, add this video here and see where that takes us. I'm going to leave it just like the first one. X2, general model, quality first. Apply to all videos because it's only one. You can do batch, by the way, you can add more, but I don't think I'm going to stay here for 15 hours. And we're going to hit colorize and see what it does. And the, the interesting part is that when you hit save is where the time consuming part comes in. This part here usually takes a few minutes and it gets done. Then when you hit save, that is OK. Looks promising so far, actually. I see colors. Look at his jacket, look at the paper, look at the skin tone. I have to say, so far, it looks very, very promising. So I'm going to leave it alone and uh, we'll get back when it's done. I guess it's going to be 100% really quick here. And then I'm going to hit save. OK, so this part is done. This is the part that didn't take that long. But when I hit save, usually is where it uh, takes a little bit. Uh, we're going to go straight for the uh, videos. Go to repaired. And this part, yeah, that is exactly where it takes the time. But hey, it is what it is. These things are not easy to do all the time. And maybe if you have the latest RTX $6,000 card, it might be a little bit faster. <laughs> but for the moment, we'll let this uh, cooking. And we'll be back once it's done. So interesting enough, this one uh, took only maybe eight, nine minutes actually to colorize this one. Now I know people that will put the colorized version again in here to give it a more vibrant color. But in this video, we're just going to do one pass through per each. I mean, you see some colors shifting. Well, obviously, it's taking it from pure black and white original and applying some color. I would say the colors are coming out almost like as if it's from the 70s. And I didn't live that time, but I know how the 70s colors looked. And uh, it, it actually did a pretty good job. I cannot say it did not do a good job here. It looks pretty OK. And you have photo colorizer, too. And uh, here we have one thing to try. We did not try photo repair yet. And uh, that's the thing we want. And that's the thing we want to uh, try. And yes, I have a fairly broken photo right here. And let's see what it does. It's uh, <laughs> this photo right here. It's I think it's broken. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something. <laughs> and photos are supposed to look like this. <laughs> anyway, let me drop it here and uh, let's see if it does anything to this photo. These are quite the tall orders that I'm doing and looks like it said it finished it. I don't know. Let me uh, save it. Okay. And it repaired. Nothing. Okay. So what kind of photo am I supposed to put here for repair? Is it supposed to be only if I had a blurry photo? Let me find a blurry one real quick. Okay. So this one is not exactly that bad. This one right here. Uh, let me get rid of this. One. I have to remove all looks like. Okay. So this is the photo we're talking about. As you see, there's shifts on the street signs or the asphalt signs, there is shifts here, there is uh, blurriness, there is noise. Let's see what it does with any of that. I mean, it says done, so we will uh, do it this way. I don't expect it to pull magic tricks, but I guess not really. It, it removes some of the noise. Definitely to remove some of the noise and uh, right here. Yeah, that's kind of the original and that's the second one. Somehow it made it smaller on the second one. Let me pull the real original here. Yep, this is the original here now. And I pull the fixed one. Yeah, I, I want to say it removed some of this noise here. But then in the other hand, it shrunk the picture. As you see here, I'm only 23% zoom versus here, I'm 214% zoom. And if I go to 100% in both, okay, this one, whoa, this one, okay, this is 100%. So it shrunk it. And this is a tough one because I want to say it fixed some of this right here. But yet in the other hand, if you zoom this out, 
if you can even zoom out, you cannot even zoom out that much more. It didn't do that much. You can see kind of the light leaks here are just a touch better. But yeah, that's uh, what it did with that picture. We tried a broken, broken picture and a picture with some problem and uh it did some work i would say some work let me see if i have anything else to throw at it to see what it really what it can really do okay so we'll try this one right here and uh let's see what can it do this is just more like hazy and foggy and noisy so let's see what the program here can do about this one and that'll be the last picture i'm gonna try right now so let's see if it can capture what we are thinking okay looks like it's already done somehow and this is the preview okay open folder and first version not much difference and the second version somehow comes out smaller but this one did not change at all so it looks like it depends on the picture that you might have it is it's it's interesting that's what i would say okay and this one is going to be the photo colorizer and we're going to take this nikola tesla as you see it's in black and white just how it was and uh, we'll drop it here and see what it does with it okay this is the photo we're going to increase the photo a little bit and yes this one is a face model so we're just going to do x3 and we'll leave it quality test and we'll hit colorize and see what the software sees here oh actually it did a pretty good job i have to say it did quite a good job let me save it really quick okay now the saving part is gonna take its time okay yeah it did it actually pretty good okay so yeah it actually did a pretty good job i have to say this is the original so it fixed it from this one to this one i would say this is a pretty good uh work that it actually did uh details on the jacket look pretty good there's a light coming from the back a nice tone i see this part here this is actually pretty good i'm trying to see if it missed anything the shine on the hair really nice the eyes they go in a little bit okay that is actually a really good reconstruction so yep the eye shape is good in both sides the eye is right in the position where it should be this is a really well made uh or reconstructed picture in my opinion so this part made it worth everything else it looks really good i gotta say look at that it is okay it even caught the nails the fingers this part here is on the shade so we, we you can put it back again inside and retry if you want to make this part perfect but in my opinion it looks better as is because that's a shadowy part and i'm really happy with this one i am happy and it really increased the size of the picture too so as you see here max zoom out i'm 72 percent but here max zoom out i'm 24 percent that means i have a lot to go so yeah it did a really good job with the photo colorizer and increasing the resolution too this is really beautiful and besides that you have audio repair email repair dll fixer so you can get the dll tool they have for download and pretty much that is it it has the settings about updates i have the license and account already and yep file repair tenor share all rights rep uh, rever reserved and this was just built so 7 6 2024 that is really really good and uh with that said i hope you enjoyed this video link will be down in the description and uh thank you to for the dig or tenor share for actually uh sending this out for me to take a look at and we will see you next time bye and before i go for pictures this is absolutely great